folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard. It's Cacophony Night. Thanks for joining us. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If this is your first time here, uh, we hope you enjoy yourself and uh, also come back. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, follow, follow us on our YouTube channel. I don't know. Uh, check out our audio only podcast. Uh, so you don't have to look at the money maker here. Uh, that is over on Podbean, shortcuts there. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our crap, like a phone case, cool shirts, a duvet cover, a shower curtain, a skateboard, stickers, there, there's a lot of shit in our store. If you want to buy that, go ahead. Uh, the link is down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us on our Tuesday talk show as a panelist, or if you want to join us in a one-shot like this Saturday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you in there. John is coming back for appearance number two. Uh, we'll be looking forward to that. Uh, but if you want to see, hit us up and let us know. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that I will not use against these guys yet uh, because uh, Pirate Dog Dice, they tend to roll high. They are custom dice. Hit them up if you'd like some of that. And if your game stinks, uh, freshen it up a little bit with some adventure sense uh, from hotfishgames.com. Uh, this one is Rowdy Tavern. Uh, I also have a pirate ship. Uh, smells a lot like ash. Ash, not ash. 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 <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> but we are for mature audiences only, so we will be swearing. And they have coffee shop. <laughs> they do have coffee. Uh, and also, if you want to get into writing uh, and write better than I do, which is really a high bar, uh, check out their shine system. It will walk you through uh, the do's and don'ts of writing, and you can ignore some of the advice uh, there. That's how it is built. Uh, folks, this is the Cacophony Edition. Before we go into a recap, let's introduce you to the players. We will first start with Caitlin. Caitlin, who are you? Who are you playing? <laughs> I'm Caitlin. <laughs> I am playing Daphne, the tiefling paladin. <laughs> and I'm not dying tonight, thanks to someone else. That would be Frank. Y'all right, Frank? Yeah, I just Terrible. got something caught in my throat. <laughs> it's already oh, hard cat. It's actually right. half human, half cat. He's just a real life. What's it like to throw up? Tabaxi. I, I, I can lick myself. Oh. I'll let, you, I'll let that one. See? Mature audience yeah. is only already. Bam! Just like that. Uh, Caitlin, who do you play? I just said I played Daphne. I, I was hacking up a lump. I, I played Daphne <laughs> as a tiefling paladin. <laughs> and you said to kill you tonight? I'm not going to die tonight. Oh, oh, Daphne. You, you haven't seen my notes. Next up is David. David, who are you? Who do you play? Hi, I'm David. I'm also on the Calamity campaign where I play Ingve. Tonight I will be playing Zadar, the arcane trickster changeling so also <laughs> slash wizard so yeah we're trying that so <laughs> that's it folks that's me that works uh the goal tonight is to make david laugh a lot he has two fractured ribs so uh Thanks, any Frank. jokes that we can make uh will just improve his cool look of uh, pain last but certainly not least normally behind oh, the camera tonight she is <laughs> <laughs> she is behind the camera and in front of the camera, our producer and my wife, Carrie. Carrie, who are you? Who do you play? Mm. Ah! Okay. Uh, right now I'm a dog babysitter that's not going so well. And I play Camille, a <laughs> uh, halfling wizard necromancer. And yeah. He needs to go to the back. Yeah, he does. He needs a timeout. <laughs> Uh, folks, uh, here's the recap. These guys started off as an urban-only scenario, and they got up to, I believe, sixth level uh, with a lot of different adventures. But uh, after several acts of heroism, uh, being aided See? by clever townspeople like Eunice Monkslayer, uh, they have branched out into the great big world, and they have recently uh, rescued the Tower of the Curd from a century-old curse. Uh, in finding the problem with the Tower of the Curd, they found a cursed stone. Fortunately, an old friend from Cacophony arrived in his airship and are taking these three to where they can go ahead and find out more about the cursed stone. Unfortunately, uh, the addition of three other crewmen 
uh, kind of depleted their supplies. Fortunately for them, they found a floating citadel on a cloud uh, and were mistaken for home inspectors by a pair of cloud giants. However, in need of uh, services rendered, AKA food, they have agreed to take on the job of home inspection. The cloud giants have recently came into possession of this beautiful estate uh, from a djinn uh, who is no longer here. The party has been asked to go in, try not to fuck up the place and uh, see what problems are there. Last time uh, we were with them, uh, one of them, not mentioning any names, David decided to blow a horn of blasting and smash down an entire wall inside the beautiful palatial grounds. Uh, these guys are currently making their way through the top level. <clears throat> they do. They have seen set. Of, they have seen a set of stairs, uh, but they have not gone down it. We were saving that for you guys watching tonight. So. You're welcome. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, dude, here is the upper floor uh, that you guys have examined. Mm -hmm. uh, you initially uh, talked it over with the two cloud giants here. Uh, folks who watched it last time may remember that they had a small problem with the gardening section. That was over here. You guys then made your way up through the main oh. door where you found the two bronze golems and destroyed them you found uh the art gallery here with the vicious mockery paintings that didn't seem to have very much effect the uh, <laughs> rug of smothering aka the purple rug was here the library where you found some spells was here of course the conservatory with the horn of blasting was here you found weebles a strange puppy just wandering the grounds in the pantry You've been in the kitchen, which caused its own problems, as well as the banquet hall. When last we left, you guys opted to bypass this door and go into this door where right here, there is a stairwell. There are also two doors here and two doors here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's up to you. What would you like to do next? Well, first, I'd like to state that, you know, most homeowners home today prefer, you know, an open floor plan. So, yeah, taking out that non-support wall, yeah, just kind of open the room up a little bit for it. It was like that. It was the conservatory and the library. I don't think that's going to uh, sell anyone. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, yeah. And Camille was busy mending it. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> so you guys are currently at the stairs leading down. There is no upstairs here. Uh, the walls are 25 feet high, a little bit cramped for the, the uh, cloud giants, not so much for the gin, but the cloud giants, uh, it's a starter home for Meme and Ina. So they'll take it with a grain of salt. I hope so. <laughs> If not, we'll, we'll we'll find a halfling named Ty Pennington to come there and fix it for him. So I think the only halfling you know would not be welcome, as he is probably creating a war in the plains of Tolosia right now. Probably. Uh, you guys have a few unexplored rooms up here, but you are at the staircase. Uh, it is cherubs holding up a plank. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, staircase, uh, just like everything else on this top floor white marble and limestone with blue veins running through it uh but the choice is yours you got four doors in this area and one set of stairs um la, la, la. well uh we we've got camille with us now right yes Is that correct okay you, what you went back and got her she uh kept throwing mending up for over an hour fixing the debacle that was the non-supporting wall <laughs> well at least the studs are there now so. That's true. but yes yeah, we you, appreciate you you, you <laughs> nice you three and your newfound dog weebles weebles present. yes yes um well zadar says to camille and daphne well uh shall we explore the stairs or take either of these doors here 
What, 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 what would you guys like <laughs> to do? Let's do the stairs. We gotta get right. this thing over with. Man, <laughs> stairs it is. Then. Can we even walk up these stairs? Are they like massive? They're go they're down. Oh, uh, they're down. So yeah, they're down. Get down, uh, but not. Up. It's, up's going to be a little bit more difficult, not impossible, but uh, a little bit more difficult. I mean, you have a tiefling, a changeling, and a halfling, so you can always throw the halfling up. That's true. So, down the stairs, I take it? Yep. Um, sure, sure. Uh, as you go down the stairs, uh, you are in an antechamber. You move down the ornate stairway and away from the gleaming marble furnishings into an area of gray slate walls and floor, a vast, stark change, if you will. A dim orb of light allows for flickering of illumination as you land in a large antechamber. Several empty sacks lay on the floor and partially cover up what appears to be a small mosaic in the center of the room, its only adornment. A doorway to your left uh, has like a sliding barn door. You notice that this area is only 15 feet high and not something that the cloud giants are going to be able to move about freely. You also notice that there are shelves in this antechamber that are, for lack of a better way of phrasing it, your height. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if these are perhaps <laughs> servants' quarters? Possibly. I don't know. Now, one thing Meme and Ina should have told you, but I think I was remiss, they were told that there would be a staff here. Mm hmm. You have okay. not seen any signs of the staff. So okay. They, the gin might have taken. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess uh, let's uh, inspect the shelves and, you know, check for termites down here. I don't know. Sure. Uh, you go ahead and check the shelves. You can see from the dust rings that something used to be sitting here, uh, but must have been scooped up. The three burlap sacks on the floor do appear to be empty. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what does the mosaic floor look like? Uh, it's a it's actually not a mosaic floor. It is a mosaic inlay in right at the door. Uh, in order to view what it is, uh, you will have to move the sacks. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I'll move the sacks. The mosaic is a strange form of a flying feathered serpent. Okay. Like a Chinese so dragon? Uh, Coatl. Coatl, yeah. South America. Wow. As, as you examine it, the inlay is a very fine quality. The stones are shiny, almost translucent, uh, and they are starting to glow. Uh-oh. That's not good. Roll initiative. Initiative. I knew that shit was Throw coming. the bags back down. <laughs> <laughs> I cover it back up. <laughs> oh, man. Eight. Uh, 20 for Zadar. Two. Yay. Uh, the Kawadal had a six. So 20 with Zadar. You are right there when the mosaic pops open. Uh, and the feathered serpent hisses at you. And it appears as though it is going to focus on one. Uh, that would be uh... what the hell is your name? Me. Sadar. Your wife. Yes. Camille. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have you don't have you don't have it on your list. Oh, What's your sorry. name? <laughs> uh, so uh, it appears as though it's going to go after Camille. So, oh, no, they all go after Camille. Uh, Zadar, you are up with a 20. Okay, I kicked the, the bags over <laughs> the serpent. It sure. hasn't animated yet, huh? It's still just... Or oh, no, it, it came start. right up from the mosaic and it's... Whoop, oh, it's face there. level. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> not good. Well, shit. Uh, yeah, the good that news is, is that it ha only has a lot of hit points. <laughs> oh, great, great. All right. Uh, 
uh, Firebolt it is. So. 19 to hit the Coatl. Oh, okay. The first one misses. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's a bit. 12. Yeah, because it flies. That's why. Yeah. You said yep. 12? Mm hmm. Yeah, they both miss. There you go. Uh, Camille, you notice that it's going to probably be attacking you. Ooh, not 20. Uh, Camille, what are you doing? I cast web on it. Okay. Uh, what's my strength save on that? I have no idea. Uh... Well, I got a six, so I'm pretty sure that's not going to work. <clears throat> Everybody perception check. Uh, 22 for Sadar. 21. 17. Uh, huh, no shit. Uh, oh, every, no. <laughs> everybody hears uh, Kune Chuck uh, oh. as, as the little, little tiny puppy grows into a very large shadow mastiff. Oh. Uh, and it will have gone before Camille, uh, but since I screwed up, it will go after Camille because that was the natural 20. Uh, is he on our side? <laughs> Wait, Weebles is going after Camille? Weebles is going after the Coatl. Oh, okay. Oh, God. And he connects with a dirty 20. Ooh. Murder Goals. elbow dice. Fails. Uh, 10 hit points of damage to the Coatl. Uh, the Coatl zeroes in on Camille. Uh, that 20 second of the night, I connect. Oh. Uh, Even though he's in web? No, uh, the 20 is uh, to break out. Oh, okay. So yes, he is Fucker. free. Your webs are worthless and weak. Uh, Daphne, the tiefling warrior, you are up. One keeps going on. Oh. <clears throat> um... You can do it. Can I do anything? Yes, you can. You got the <laughs> your attitude. The webs have been sundered. Uh, wait, have we done any damage to this thing yet? The dog uh, uh, Weebles did. <laughs> yeah, Weeble, Weebles put the bite down on it. I'm giving that made it dog a steak. Niche. Oh, it's a dog. It's just an enchanted dog. I'm getting a steak leader. I guess I'll cast my channel divinity. Okay. But I still get to attack twice, right? Yes. Well, the, the channel divinity is it a bonus action? I think so. I don't know. Is it? I, I, I think it's so. I, I want to say no, but as we all know, I suck at uh, <laughs> spells. Oh. I always thought it was something you just did. I don't know. Now, you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and give you both attacks. I'll let you channel divinity. Fuck it. Because that's not a spell anyway. No, it's just saying it. Um, Kyle's probably in chat laughing at me, but that's okay. Oh, care. yeah. He's rage typing as we speak. That's, that's right. <laughs> you stupid sack of shit. If you'd read the books, you'd understand. I've read the books. I just didn't pay any attention because I know second edition much better. Uh, go ahead, Daphne. Uh, set this thing up and uh, knock it down. Um, 19. 19's what you need. And 26. Both hit. Daphne came to play. Oh, Daphne's and... using toilet dice again. Yeah, there. toilet dice <laughs> tonight. <laughs> They're the potion bottle ones. They're the Mario dice. So 
six, six, so a total of 12. That works. Uh, top of the order, Zadar. Uh, Zadar uh, uh, uses his scimitar, does a scimitar attack. Sure. Let's see if I can hit it. Uh, 25 to hit. Yep, that is. Okay, and let's see. That is 10 points of slashing damage, and since I've got allies on the field, does sneak attack apply? Uh, I'll give you a sneak attack because it was focused in on Camille. Okay. Sneak attack. The pain train comes with 11 additional points of damage. Nicely done. Camille, uh, your web spell was intermediary, intermediately uh, successful, uh, but that's gone. What do you want to try now? <sighs> Is a firebolt gonna kill anybody else in range? No. No, shouldn't. Okay, well, I'll try Not that. Not unless you roll a one. <laughs> that, that's usually how it goes. Okay. Uh... Ha ha! 20. Not natural. Nice. That, that counts. Damage? Uh... Let's see, 22 D10. Come on, all these dice, really? <laughs> you guys are seventh level, right? Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Need some dice? Yes. And 13. Oh, nicely done. Now I'm gonna have to start adding. <laughs> very nice uh not fantastic but very nice uh let's see what weebles does if it's a four he'll howl it is not a four he is going to bite again uh 16 plus five weebles is kicking some ass weebles is now a giant shadow mastiff by the way so his uh -huh. diminutive form has been replaced by a fierce-looking creature uh, with Kawato blood dripping off of its fangs. I'm going to go to the murder hobo dice yet again. <laughs> oh, not good this time. Uh, he bites, but oh well. Uh, this time, since there are four of you, uh, number four is going to be Weeble. Number four it is. The no! Kowattle's sick and tired of getting bit by the fucking dog. Uh, yep. 13 plus five is going to hit Weebles. Weebles is going to yowl in pain. Let's see if he can make his constitution roll. With a seven, Weebles falls to the ground. His oh, chest no. continues to rise and fall, so he is not dead. However, murder hobo dice. There you go. Uh, <coughs> Weebles is going to take some heat. No. Weebles. Uh, Daphne, uh, Weebles is obviously protecting you guys until just now as he goes down. Uh, and he is wrapped up in this Kowattle's uh, prehensile tail, uh, the snake tail. Uh, what do you want to do? Cut it off. Cut the tail off. I guess, yeah, I'll aim for the tail specifically. Sure. Uh, that means specifically if you miss, you're going to hit Weebles. No! <laughs> oh, damn it. I hit the wrong thing. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> hit the wrong thing as in Weebles? No, as in instead of clicking on the hit dice, I had to click on the damage thing. <laughs> Just losing my mind. Uh, you can eleven. see Weeble's eyes bulging out. Oh, no. An 11, An 11 hit? All right. 20 not. not natural? 20 does hit. All right. Well, at least it didn't, like, fail horribly. Uh, 8 damage? Uh, 8 damage will work. 
It's showing signs of being that the punishment being doled out upon it is hurt it. Uh, Zadar with the dirty 20 in uh, initiative, you're up. Okay, and with the dirty 20 in initiative, I'm going to tell the Coatl a dirty joke, and it's going to have to uh, do a wisdom save. You speak Coatl? No, I don't. It saves. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it has to. Does it have to? Mm. Okay, I'll what's go it, with it. Well, what's it save? Because I think I beat you anyway. Uh, the save was 15. For? Uh, wisdom. Plus 5 and 14, so 19. Mm, yeah. Your joke is not funny. Tell me no. another joke. Uh, <laughs> Camille, you're up. Uh, poor Weevil's eyeballs is bulging as the tail begins to constrict. Um. Hmm. <coughs> hit me! Hit me! Hit me! It's too small in here to do anything really good. You should cast something thunderous so that the ground floor becomes the basement floor. Never ride. <laughs> I thought about that. Okay. I think I still have the horn. I'll harken back <laughs> to old times and I'll cast fog cloud. Oh, <laughs> that's, not, that's not going to be good. Everybody will now be a disadvantage. Uh, let's see if uh, Weebles uh, manages to fight off the construction. Wait, but I have a little light emanating, emanating from me. Uh, yeah, it's foggy. It's reflective. It's like wearing high beams on uh, oh, foggy well, night. at least know where she is. Uh, you hear, Jack! Yak! Uh, it doesn't sound like Weebles is doing so hot. Aww. Don't you kill Weebles. I'm, I'm not killing Weebles. Mm -hmm. Item Weebles. Weebles is down 17 hit points now. Daddy, any attack will be a disadvantage. Me? Yep. Everybody. Except for the Coatl because uh, Weebles can't break it and all the Coatl's doing is constricting now. How many imports does Weevils have? <laughs> I guess I'll just cast Bless on everyone. Ooh, does that cancel out the disadvantage? No. It just gives uh, you, you can roll a d4 mm, okay. on your attack or saving throw. Okay. Both of you. So I... <laughs> That's yeah. not good. Yeah, Weevils doesn't have... A whole lot of hit points left. Uh, fair enough. Top of the order. Uh, Zadar, you can hear the familiar tone of bless from your tiefling paladin. So you know you're going to get a plus on any roll, but you're still fighting at disadvantage because that fog cloud has everybody confused. But I knew where the quaddle was. So magic missile? Oh, yeah. Magic missile will get it. Okay. All righty. Uh, let's see. Uh, that'll be, uh, let's see, first one hits for three, the second hits for three, and the third one hits for five? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Uh, uh, Camille, you're up. It's awful foggy in here, and you can hear poor Weebles. <laughs> You're playing on my sympathies, damn it. Yeah, merely, of course he is. I'm merely stating what you can hear and or see. You can't see shit, but you can hear uh, the dog. Poor little Weebles. Probably dying. I crawl over to the dog and stuff some healing potion down his throat. Um, Uh-oh. <laughs> give me an intelligence check. Oh, man. This won't be good. Don't roll a one. <laughs> uh, 20, not natural. Uh, you slide your hand along the floor, find some fuzzy fur, trail it all the way up past some snake scales of the coatl, and find the gasping breath you manage to go ahead and pour the healing potion 
into the gullet of Weebles, giving him how many hit points? All of them. <laughs> what uh, What are you using? Just a regular potion of healing? Yeah, I think that's all I have. D8 plus 2. Go ahead and roll it. Nine. Yeah, that's, that's uh, that is going to help. Uh, Kawato's turn. Uh, odd, it tries to bite you. Even it continues constriction. Three, odd, it is going to bite you, and it too is at disadvantage. I see a 12 and I see a four. You hear the snapping of uh, fangs uh, and feel a slight draft on your arm, uh, but no luck for the Coatl. Daphne, you have no idea that Camille has ventured into the area. So if you choke on your roll, uh, it'll be a dice roll, Weebles or Camille. Mm. So I don't know where Weebles is right now. You do not know where Weebles is. You have a vague general or idea. Me. <laughs> you can do it. I think Star Wars with those laser blasts going through the smoke. That's what yeah. Star Wars doing. <laughs> Wait. Never mind. Never mind. All right. <laughs> I'm reading. I don't think. What you gonna do? So if I do like cure wounds, it's not a guarantee who it's gonna cure. Nope. You're gonna put the magic touch on somebody. Might be Camille. <laughs> Might be Weebles. Might be the Coatl. <laughs> I was about to say, don't hit the Coatl. Well, let, me at, yet, so. let me ask something. Aren't Quaddles supposed to be good aligned? Usually. Oh. Well, they probably think we're intruders. Probably. That is, that is exactly what they think. Okay. <laughs> At disadvantage? Yep. That's wow. They're just really bad rolls anyway. That's lovely. Wow. <laughs> Blue. Sorry, I know. Ten and nine. Ba -ba -ba -ba, top of the order, Zadar. You have no idea what the fuck's going on. You uh. don't know where anybody is. You know your magic missiles hit true because they are magic missiles. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna feel for the Coatl's tail. <laughs> so, will that take an action, or is that a bonus action? That's gonna take an action. Oh, crap. Okay, maybe not that, then. <laughs> yeah, you Camille know, took the action to find it, and then bonus action used the potion. Damn it. Okay. Magic missile one more time. Sure. Okay. Oh, let's see. All right. First one hits for three. Second for three. And the third for three. So nine points. Good enough. Uh, Camille. So, since I'm right there. Your camera's tilted way up. <laughs> I will do shocking okay. grasp. Ooh, very nice. Nice. At disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Here's where Weebles bites it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So, 13. 
Electrically charged particles can be seen sparking throughout the fog. Daphne, you're up. Congratulations, you just created see, right? a nuclear reaction. Uh, oh, hang on a second. My apologies, Daphne. It is the Coatles' turn. Odd even. I'm still keeping my rolls. <laughs> that's, that's fine. You can. Uh, it's going to try and bite Camille again. At disadvantage, still. A four and an 18, so no go. Daphne, you're up. Can I drop the fog cloud at any time? Or does I have to wait for my turn? Your turn. Okay. Go ahead, Daphne. Sorry, you didn't lift the fog, right? We're still at disadvantage. Right. Correct. All right, so first die 19. Hit. Hits. And nine doesn't hit. Correct. Five damage. Top of the order. Zadar. Zadar. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, gonna take a swing with the scimitar. <laughs> Off comes Weeble's head. <laughs> and you said it's at disadvantage, right? Correct. Oh, son of a bitch. I rolled a 22, then a 17. Wah, wah. Uh, Camille. So the thingy goes after me, right? I mean, the turn. It did, it did la yes. Okay. The Kawada will go after you. So I tell everybody, I say, I'm going to drop the fog cloud now, so get ready. Okay. <laughs> so I go ahead and drop it. Okay, as you do, uh, you notice Weebles uh, is no longer restrained and makes a desperate lunge for this creature that was choking the life out of him, not at disadvantage. 19 plus 5, he connects, and he is most likely going to rip the throat out of this fucking thing. Uh, 7 plus 4 is 11, and the Kawaddle is down being thrashed about by the Shadow Mastiff, formerly known as Weebles. Who's a good boy? That's right. Who's I'm a good boy? I'm gonna give you a big steak. It, it looks like Weebles has had a collar on for about three years. It's oh, been oh. Poor, poor Weebles. Uh, once he decides that the Kawaddle is destroyed, he drops it. It turns into little tiny particles of light and disappears. Uh, Weebles, Eat a chuck. Back, back <laughs> down into the small dog. I go oh, cuddle oh. him and tell him what a good boy he is. Uh, that will earn a tail wag. Uh, he he looks a little worse for wear, uh, but he seems to be happy and otherwise upbeat. Awesome. So is there anything else in this place? <laughs> in this room, no, but the uh, mosaic itself was right next to the exit of this place uh which uh, again all this place think concrete uh mm -hmm. very sparse uh no ornamentation certainly nothing like the upper floor it's even shorter than the upper floor uh this leads out into a long hallway that seems to run the length of the entire structure uh the walls that run down are bolstered with heavy pillars uh, you can you can see directly across is an entry point into some kind of room area. Uh, there's also a short section to the left and the long section to the right. And you can tell, uh, think serial killer saw-esque kind of uh -oh. illumination. Uh, not a lot of light, uh, uh -huh. but enough to traverse the area. Okay. I mean, this looks like a storage area, so eh, fuck it. Visitors are not going to come down here. Okay, so we want to leave. <laughs> it's up to you. Basement's clear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's clear. It looks clear. <laughs> Everything's fine. Give us our food. Exactly. Uh, 
I don't know. I mean, how thorough do we want to do this inspection? How about you're getting five thousand gold pieces? I would imagine I... they're gonna want some kind of information that is tangible. All yeah. right, um, we will. We'll go check the serial killer room. Professor detect so, magic. At least we have the little dog this time. <laughs> so, uh, are you casting detect magic? Do I have uh, that? I thought I, you did. I do. Sadar does. Okay. Okay, it takes 10 minutes to cast. Unless I use a spell slot, which I can do. Okay, That's spell slot. Uh, yes. There is a faint glow down the hallway. But okay. only Zadar can see it, of course. All right. Uh, there is something this way down the hallway. To the right, on the left. Is it still dark? Uh, you know, it's, it's the swinging light bulb. Kind oh, of. man, I swear if I hear goodbye horses, I'm going to shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know the song from uh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, see, a, see a cloud giant down there. <laughs> I'd fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of this pit, you bitch! <laughs> uh, but the blue glow is coming. If you go right down the center hallway, it's coming. It's just very, very, very faint uh, on the left because your range is what? 60 or 120? Uh, uh, 60... Dim, uh, 61. It, it goes bad after 60 feet so okay that's fair yeah. uh how long does it last uh the detect magic or the yes oh detect magic uh that is a good question i think it's 10 over, minutes 10 minutes yes Con concentration 10 minutes yep so uh there you go so it's it's not directly across from you which is mm -hmm. a di different set of rooms but it's down the hall and to the left okay um yeah, Zadar will start moving in that direction. The rest of you follow? Daphne, Camille? Sure. Okay, uh, as you guys walk down the dim hallway, waiting to find uh, every member from Saw, you see uh, on the right side, brass gates uh, are open inward at this location and are about 12 feet high. Tables... Uh, large tables, high tables, are also present in the room. Uh, a small glint can be seen from the far corner of the room as the Sylvania light bulb swings back and forth. Uh, the glint, uh, where's it coming? It's coming from the floor. Is it a light that's being emitted from underneath something or? Appears to be a metal shining behind the table leg. Oh, okay. Can I cast dancing lights? Sure. Oh, yeah, that'll help. <laughs> disco, disco duck. Uh, the dancing lights goes in and the glint uh, ricochets off of that. Uh, the dancing okay. lights does not reveal any occupants in this area. Okay. Um, now that we can gonna, tell. <laughs> can I do an investigation check on the glint? Sure. Uh, you can even walk over there if you want. Okay, that too. Uh, it's uh, 20 gold pieces worth of coins. There's about three coins there, one platinum and uh, two gold, uh, but they're large coins. Mm -hmm. uh, and give me a wisdom check. Uh, wisdom check, okay. All three of you can give me the wisdom uh, check. No. Hmm. Intelligence is Zadar's thing, but not <laughs> wisdom. Yeah, 11. I get five. <laughs> Zadar, what was yours? Eleven. Daphne. Wow, uh, twenty, not natural. Wow. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Daphne looks at the surroundings and surmises, "This looks like a bank I was once in. I wonder if this was the treasury." Probably was. Hmm. Uh, it like the, the treasury. treasury, you know. But it has clearly been emptied. Okay. All the coffers are gone and stuff like that? Well, the coffers are up on a 10-foot-high uh, table. There's Ooh. two tables. Both are 10 feet high. 
There isn't a petty four somewhere where I can take a bite of and didn't grow 10 feet tall. Nope. Sorry there, uh, in a chuck. <laughs> right. Oh, man. I think okay. we just take note and move on. As okay. you guys turn around, everybody give me a perception check. <sighs> Twenty. Seventeen. Three! Ah! Everybody but Daphne could have sworn something was standing in the doorway. Oh. But it's not there now. Okay. <laughs> Smart. Uh, how, does, how does Weeble's perception? Uh, he growls low. Hmm. Okay, that's not good. Weebles is no longer a shadow mask if he is back to his puppy size. Well, that's sure. fine. Sure. I give him a little head scribbles and look where he's looking. I put him uh, in my bag. He uh, he does the left right, but doesn't say there. anything. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't have the thousand yard stare going, huh? Nope. Cannot find what it was. Okay. All right. Uh, you can move your dancing lights. So, yep. so. I move them with us. Uh, as you move them down the hall, again, you do not see the blue light. Only Zadar can see the blue light. And it is just ahead on your left. Okay. I will check it out. Uh, the hallway continues further down. Uh, but you go into a small alcove that turns into a much larger room and the dim blue light is coming from a table with something on it this large area this large open area has a large globe of light hanging over a table with a variety of implements on it in the center of the table is a mechanical brass bird that appears to be in the middle of assembly several small tinker tools rest next to this strange device Zadar, this whole area is glowing blue. Ooh. Okay. All we do is track and report. We don't have to go in there. <laughs> you know, there were clockwork mechanical gnomes up there that were <laughs> coming for us. So this could be where they were made. And this chamber uh, has several exits on the far wall. Okay. Uh, quick investigation, just glance. I mean, aside from the bird that needs assembly on the table, uh, God, I wish I had, I wish it, we weren't in such danger. I try to try my intelligence to see if I could assemble it. But anyway, uh, as you look around, more blue glow comes from a wire mesh area filled with armor and weapons. Hmm. So if you think like you're in the basement of a mm -hmm. school yeah. uh, and where the janitor has all of his shit and that's then there's what... always that wire mesh thing where they keep important stuff, that's yeah. where they're keeping uh, armor and weapons. And okay. it appears to be normal sized armor and weapons. Ooh, okay, yeah. that might be good. And uh, Zadar, you see there is a blue glow. Okay, uh, I say we should check that out, so. So we're saying, fuck the bird. I'm saying that we just notate it and report. Okay. <laughs> that, is, that is my recommendation. However, if you wish to go Yeah, that's true. I, I will mean, go with this, you. <laughs> this isn't for us to pillage. So, technically. So, okay. Uh, we'll, go over. It has a simple latch on the door. Uh, however, at the door... There is a dried stain right at the mesh door. And oh. It is quite sizable. <laughs> On the floor? Out. Yeah, I think that is a clear indicator that there is something that will activate when you do that, when you fuck with that door. So, no. <laughs> Unless so I it's just... a simple linchpin. Real easy to open. Real easy to open, yeah. Sure. But the whole thing's glowing, so... <laughs> hey, magic armor, magic weapons. Yeah, magic lash, magic arcane lock, magic trap. <laughs> That'll it all glow, too. It was a gin, too. for odd sakes. <laughs> but that blood spatter, yeah, that's... 
That's it's dried, alarming. very old. Um, can I do a brief investigation check for for traps? Sure. <laughs> okay. In Philbar? No. <laughs> I rolled a nineteen, so twenty six. You're pretty sure there's no trap on the door. Okay. On the door. Okay. That's what he was looking at. Okay, so I that that stain really freaks me out. So um, it's dried. It's old. Hell, it could have been somebody could have nicked their finger. Some cloud giant could have nicked. How their big finger. was the stain? Cloud How giants was... didn't live here before. It was a gin. <laughs> I mean, a, a human size. Like a Split human head the, size? Yeah. 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 About the same elevation. <laughs> well, the stains on the floor. Oh, okay. I thought it was like on the back wall. <laughs> like, oh. No, actually it looks like uh all of the armor and weapons were on racks, but now they're on the floor like they've been disturbed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even better. Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys want me to start passing out the might all or <laughs> <laughs> I tell you Maybe what. Maybe the jock straps. I'll go That's back right. about thirty feet and cast Mage Hand and try to unlatch the latch. Okay. Uh, Camille, Daphne, you guys okay with that? I get behind. You guys him. can stick that stick back <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, you cast the elusive and my personal least favorite spell, Mage Hand. You the friendly the, stranger. <laughs> take the linchpin, you lift it up, and the mesh door eases out. Okay. Perception check. All right. Twenty-eight. I rolled a natural twenty. Daphne. Oh. Camille. Oh, we're all doing perception. Okay. Yep. I don't know why I thought we we're. Oh my god, three again? I'm just not perceptive. Zadar's a thief, so he has to be. (laughs) Six. I'm just playing Uh, my real life self right now. Not perceptive. Daphne and Camille don't notice that Zadar, you're pretty sure one of those sets of armor moved. Oh, shit. Okay. If I have time to react, I'm going to close the latch. Uh, You do react. But not before. I a, knew that was coming. A not pair before. Of armor rises and comes out. Mm. Uh, first off, Zadar, give me dexterity check to make sure that the linchpin hits the hole. Uh, nineteen. Uh, you do manage to catch another suit of armor and three sabers as they beat themselves against the metal mesh. Two sets of armors are out and about. Oh, uh, weebles. I have got to listen to And runs like now hell. Uh, initiative. God damn it. Sorry. Sorry. Two. I'm also two. Again, I don't know what's up. Maybe 22 for Zadar. Uh, Zadar, go ahead. Uh, there are two suits of animated armor headed right for you. Okay. Uh, la la la. All right. I and am... they are going after three. Three. They're going after Zadar. Okay. I am going to cast Chromatic Orb. Uh, let's see. Does a ooh, net 20 hit? One of them? On a construct? Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the type of damage will be acid. All right, that'll work. Uh, 23 points of damage. That will be on the even one, number two. How much? 23. Okay. I used my last second spell slot. Well, at least you're deep in the dungeon. Uh, both animated armors rolled three, so they're going after you. Uh, definitely not. Does a 16 hit you? No, it does not. 
Uh, they swarm him. Uh, Camille and Daphne, you're up. The dog has had enough. It is underneath that table, whimpering. It does not like armor. Uh, I, I can't blame him. Yeah. Um, well, I cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. Daphne? I'm gonna attack them. One of them. Wow. Uh, 13 or 12 hit? Uh, nope, you don't even hit him. Not even close. Uh, new round, Zadar. Uh, I'm going to cast it at first level, Chromatic Orb. Again. Uh, and a miss. 11. That is a miss. Uh, they are going to go after... Five, Daphne. Six, Daphne. Ugh. Well, one guy, yeah. Uh, and I'm pretty sure 13 misses. Okay. The other one yeah. is uh, 21. Uh, that's that's not bad. Boom! Seven hit points of damage as you get. And I do hellish rebuke. <laughs> nice. Which one did hit you? The one that hit me. Two. Uh, okay. Hella should be good. 12 damage. Ouch. Uh, acid. All right, how much damage was it to me? Six, seven? What'd you say? Seven. Seven. Seven damage. Uh, Camille and Daphne, you're up. Okay. I'll go first. I cast Bless again. <laughs> I assume they wear it off. Then you get an extra D4. Nice. I do Magic Missile. Sure. Um, uh, the one that got Acid Splashed or the other one? Sure, that one. One, four plus one. Which? Uh, the Acid Splash one. Gotcha. Three. Uh, that is enough. That is 38 hit points of damage, and it goes down limp. Uh, the rattling in the cage becomes intense uh, as the other animated objects are none too thrilled. Zadar, new round, new chance to be victorious. Okay, I will use my scimitar. Okay. Okay, for a big whopping 25 to hit. That hits. Uh, six points. Uh, I'm sorry, I rolled a d6, but they had the modifier. Uh, 11 points slashing, and uh, as part of the action, the bonus action, cast Green Flame Blade. Okay. And it's going to take 1d8 <coughs> fire damage. Uh, let's see. Uh, that'll be uh, five points of fire damage. Got it. Uh, this time it is going after one. That would be Camille. Uh, seven plus four is 11. That's not going to do anything. Camille and Daphne, you're up. I guess I'll do magic missile again. Okay. Daphne? Four. Uh, attacking with my scimitar. 22. Yep. And I do my best. Can I get this one off at all? It's going to be waste. Maybe 9, 10, 11 would have hit right there. Okay. So just 22. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to expend, expend, I don't know if I use this grammar right, a spell slot for Divine Smite. Nice. Oh, okay. All right. I can do all this. I can do all the math, I believe. 
So six, what's that? Slashing damage and 14 radiant damage. Uh, that knocks it to the ground as well. As you guys look, you can see two large gemstones, one in each. They are pearls. Do we want the the clamor from the armor ceases as the armor and the blades all drop down to the floor again. Hmm. The brave Sir Weebles comes out. (laughs) I tell him it's okay. You're a good boy, Weebles. Um, Weebles appreciates that. We leave everything. I, I say we leave everything where it is because when we go report, we can say blah, 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 and there are pearls there. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not greedy. <laughs> uh, from this room, uh, this is a workshop area. You can see a variety of tools, large and small, on the walls. And when I say large and small, uh, humanoid size. So a long cutting saw, normal hammers, screwdrivers, things of that nature, all appear to be normal sized uh, implements. From this room, you can go back out or you can go down a short hallway to the right or a longer hallway to the left. Just uh, to take note, all those, everything that you described, is any of it covered in dust or anything like that? Or does it look like it shows it's been signs used of, recently? Yeah, it shows signs that it's been used recently. Hmm. Okay. All right. Good to know. All right. Good question. Good question. Um, shall we continue on out, or is this the only place that you found magic? Uh, by this as... time, the dispel or detect magic is dropped as well. Yeah, yeah. It would take ten minutes for me to cast again because oh, I'd have to do it as a ritual. So, I guess we need to finish investigating. Okay. All right. So I guess we continue. I mean, if we've checked out everything in this room, I guess we'll just move on. Yeah, you pretty much have. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of storage, a lot of miscellaneous crap in here. You keep saying that, and damn it, that, that, that just... And that's when you say... Mundane, mundane yeah. items. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, also, the dancing lights is gone. <sighs> That only lasts one minute. Well, it's a cantrip. I mean, you can always uh-uh. cast it again. That's true. <laughs> so cantrip, you, you can go right down a short shoot, left down a longer shoot, or back out into the main hall. Um, I mean, shouldn't we keep like exploring? Ladies, where shall we go? I mean, the rest of the area. Okay. Yep. So... Wherever hasn't been investigated, so I guess. What up, Steve? Continue down the hall, I guess, or something. Right onto the main hall. Onto the main hall. You go back out the door to the main hall. You can continue on right. Uh, there's a, uh, for lack of a better term, a lumber storage area. Uh, okay. You guys, you guys will recognize the lumber as being used in the Tricks. garden area. It's okay. For the raised beds, uh, mm-hmm. but there are just a variety of sizes and shapes of lumber nothing appears to be unusual they are fairly neatly stacked here uh Mm -hmm. and then uh there's a solid wall to your left but along the right there is like another metal barn door uh, set out from the wall and it has a latch in it very simple latch scrawled onto the metal are words okay what what do you guys speak i can cast comprehend languages what do we speak i can at least read it i can't speak it right abyssal infernal and undercommon that won't help yeah Hmm. all i have is halfling in common do you want to take 10 minutes and i could cast it 
Sure. Fine. Okay. You can play with weebles or something. You're gonna take a power nap? Uh, perception check on Camille and Daphne as Zadar uh, compared to this spell. Eleven. Twelve. You don't hear shit from the other side of this metal door. Uh, you notice just from casual observation that it's a good three, four inches. Oh, I'm sorry. Three or four inches uh, thick. All right. Uh, three or four inches thick. Uh, three or, oh, and three it, or four inches thick. And what does Weebles think? <laughs> uh, Weebles is just sitting there. Uh, but this is a very heavy, very sturdy door. Yeah. Uh, while he's fucking with the spell, did you guys want to try and open it? No. <laughs> we'll wait till he's done Okay, ten minutes passes. Uh, does Weebles take a shit? Rip. Number one, first critical fail. Uh, Weebles takes a smelly shit right in the middle of the hallway. Yeah, that's oh. all right. Press the digitate. Thank Everybody, you. Constitution check. Uh, you can't press the digitate. You are in the. Middle oh, of I the am in the middle spell. of casting. Okay. Everybody, yeah. Constitution check. Oh, oh God. Ten. Is this a special, like, shadow master poop? It's a puppy. They always throw poop. Daphne hurls and will be fighting at disadvantage for the uh, next uh, roll of d6, Daphne. 19 <laughs> for Zadar. Six! Yay! <laughs> the next six minutes, Daphne will be cleaning the vomit off her... Uh, tiefling skin and ugh, ugh. Uh, 10 minutes has passed. Zadar, you cast Comprehend Languages on it. Does it tell you what language it is or just what it says? Uh, let's see. Let's go to the spell. Um, for the duration, you understand the literal meaning of any spoken language that you hear. You can also understand written language that you see but you must be touching the surface on which the words are written. Mm -hmm. uh, knock three times to start. Oh dear. Nope, don't knock three times. Knock three times. Um, I don't can know. Can you do that with Mage Hand? <laughs> yeah, I can. Actually, I, I but, can. But you know, Literally that's gonna can. fuck us over anyway. Okay, mind the poop. And we go back 30 feet. Knock on the door three times. <gasps> it's Weebles. It's Weebles. With the flashing okay. puppy teeth of Aww. death. Uh, so I knocked three times. Nothing happened. Nothing happens. Huh. Okay. You knock the door three times or you knock the thing three times? It said knock three times. On, on what? The door, I guess? What about the thing that you just read on? Where's, you're not is that written on the is that not written on the door or is that written on a placard or knock three times and scrawled into the door? Oh. Okay. Knock three times on the floor. On the ceiling, if you want me. Um, I <laughs> twice on the pipe. I um. <laughs> I um. Well, we've already knocked three times, so. Just, yeah. yeah. Again. And report. You want me to do it again? Oh, report. Okay. We found a door that says knock three times. Okay. Okay. Everybody, perception check. Wait, am I rolling at disadvantage on this? Oh, yeah. You're rolling everything at disadvantage for the next six minutes. 18. 20, 25. Nine. Uh, even Daphne notices that that heavy metal door is vibrating against the concrete. That's not good. Oh, you just need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, mind the poop. <laughs> there does not appear to be anything else at this end of the building. Okay, I cast Prestidigitate on the poop. <laughs> not on me. Well, it's not going to Daphne explode. can still taste it in the back of her throat. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty hard. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, I know I am. Thanks. 
<laughs> you are too, but I was talking to Steve. He's going to bed. <laughs> okay, so which direction do you guys want to go? Uh, what are what are our choices? North, uh, south? You, you can go to the far end of the hallway. Uh, you can go back into the workshop area and go right or left. Uh, or you can go past the stair stair antechamber room. Uh, lead on, ladies, wherever you want to go. Even though I'm a lady, too. But, What's the stair okay. antechamber room? That's where you found the Kowatol. So is there more to search down here mm -hmm. that we haven't? Mm -hmm. How much yeah. more? Yeah, hard to tell if the uh, upstairs this... is the same, uh, about a third. <sighs> My hardworking nature says we need to keep searching. Okay. Well, we'll keep searching. So where do you want to go? Down the hall? Sure. Main okay. hall? Main hall? Uh, just across from the Kawato room is a hallway leading into small storage bins, or you may continue on. So you see anything suspect in the storage bin area? Okay, there's no, I can't stand no to well, huh? again. <laughs> uh, in the storage area, uh, you see several alcoves. Nothing lurking in the alcoves, huh? Like alcoves, <laughs> like Not that you see. the God of Death mask face alcove, or <laughs> uh, big more, alcove. <laughs> more like uh, there's a lot of small subrooms in this area. Maybe some closets. Closets, closets, closets. Um, I say we move on. Okay. We notate and move on. All right. You move past the staircase area. Uh, you come to another. You, the wall. The wall is present here. You can only go left or right. Left would be on the side of the Kawato room. Right would be on the workshop room area. Um. Oh. Left. Um, left. <laughs> left it is. Uh, uh, left is a long, narrow chamber, and it appears to have uh, bolts of cloth. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the cloth is a high grade. Uh, it's more of a, a textile that would be used for, say, servants' apparel. Hmm. Okay. Nothing okay. else in the room? No, nothing. It's like when you go to Menards or a Home Depot and you want to go look at flooring and they have them on the rollers. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. very good. That's what it is. Okay. okay. But it's very uh, starchy clothing, very rough, very wool, hemp, mm. things of that nature. Not silk, not uh, expensive fabric. Mm. Okay, no glamour weave or anything like that. Correct. All right. Okay, well, Damn let's it. keep looking. Is Trixie burrowing? No, oh, she's scratching on the floor. Mm. Uh, so uh, there's nothing else in this room. Uh, you can go across the hall into that set of alcove areas. Sure. Sure. I'm getting like Carrie. Sure. <laughs> uh, if you imagine yourself on a submarine or in a tiny house where they have just cubicles of storage littering everywhere, uh, mm -hmm. This is what this kind, of, this side kind of looks like. Uh, there's some long and short, or deep, or uh, narrow closet space here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's filled with a lot of mundane things: paint, uh, big uh, bricks of bronze, uh, candle wax, some parchment, very mundane household items. Uh, that you would expect to see, but wouldn't give any notice to it. Everybody roll a d20. Mm -hmm. 19. Oh, 16. Eight. Man, you don't see shit tonight. Uh, Camille and Zadar, you notice that the next area over is filled with I believe 
tapestries. Let me double check here. Uh, yes, tapestries. Uh, and a small globe of light is spotted on the floor. It takes flight, goes up about eight feet, and heads directly north. Mm, that is odd. And then it hangs a hard right. You can so still we... see the glow of it, but you don't know where it's going. You want to follow it? I guess we have to. Okay. Uh, as you pass through this room with a lot of old furniture, a lot of new furniture that's not being used, uh, heavy tapestries, a variety of scrolls and things of that nature, some flatware, uh, some plates are stacked, uh, and you find a long hallway uh, in the back, and it's kind of, you can see the ball of light, and it's kind of headed towards the uh, workshop area. Oh, dear. Where we were? Mm -hmm. Where the okay. raven thing was? Correct. The raven thing? The bird. The oh, bird. the bird. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we keep going. Yep. Guess we'll follow it. Uh, sure as shooting, it ends up in the workshop room. Okay. Is it it's, hovering or? It is hovering over the bird as you guys enter the room. It moves towards the gated area where the swords and remaining suit of armor have elevated itself and oh, are beating on the no. grates again. Mm, nope, nope, not messing with that. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a look at the bird. Uh, it's in a variety of pieces. One of its wings is off. Uh, again, small items are present. Yada, yada, yada. Mm. Okay. Uh, are the pieces pretty much like snap and fit? Or would it take some tinkering with tinkering tools to assemble it? Or Tinker tools. I mean, I have those, but whether... There, there are a lot of them just sitting on the table. Oh, okay. Uh, the ball of light pulses over the raven. Nope, oh, over right the... next to the the armor and swords. Oh, oh shit! Okay, uh, guys, what do you want to do? <laughs> I suppose there's no way to communicate with the ball of light. Where is there? You can try. I don't to know. You can try. Okay, sure. Hello, ball oh, of light. Oh, ball of light. What is your major malfunction? Yeah, maybe it's like telepathic. That's true. Uh, the ball of light zooms away from oh? the grate and goes out the door that you, or the doorway that you initially came into this room from and zips down the hallway, left or right. Right. I follow it. I wonder, is that a magical sensor? Like somebody watching us? Like a wizard eye? Mm-hmm. Don't know. Uh, Camille jets out of the room, uh, and you can see that the ball of light is headed down the hall. Daphne guess. and Sadar, what are you doing? I guess we go in hot pursuit. Get, I... get, get, get. Uh, you guys run down, and it... Uh, goes to the end of the hallway and hangs another right back where you initially saw it. Okay. Does it go back to where it was or does it... Uh, Camille is the first one in pursuit of it as you <laughs> come around the side. You notice that the damn thing has gone all the way down to the end of the hall again and is headed back towards the workshop. It's a Roomba. <laughs> a retarded Roomba. So it it jutted back to the workshop. The same, same looks one. Looks like we... looks like it's on lap two. Wow, this hey. thing is okay. Um, yeah, I just say we notate <laughs> and okay. report. <laughs> okay, fine. Not my job to figure this out. Fine, fine. I mean, I'm intrigued by the bird, but yes, yeah, okay. 
Uh, intelligence check, everybody. <laughs> oh boy, this is bad. Uh... How bad is bad? Oh, wow. wow. Oh, that's right, Daphne. You play in the cred campaign. By design, you roll like shit. Five. <laughs> you missed it last week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your, your associates uh, foobarred it again. Uh, Camille, Daphne, uh, no clues at all. Uh, I think the only thing you guys have missed is in the far right corner. So if you go down the back hallway, past the workshop, That'd probably be the only area. Okay. We'll go check that area out. As you go down the back hallway, yet again, old paintings, weird shit. I mean, it's a basement, essentially, with a bunch uh -huh. of crap in it. Uh, as you go down, you look to your right. There is the workshop. And it's still the, pul pulsing the, at the workshop. The glowing orb is back at the great... The sabers and the armor are beating against the thing. Uh, directly ahead of you is another sliding metal door. Hmm. Anything written on that? Yes, it appears as though it might be the exact same wording. Okay. Uh, I think we need to go back out where languages, we came. <laughs> uh, less for an hour, so I would be able to see. Knock three times. <laughs> Should I try it? Yeah. Okay. Stand back. <laughs> What's feet. the worst that could happen? Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Cop knock. Don't you mind like Johnny Depp in 21 Trump Street? Knock, a knock, a knock. That's what I said. Knock. Knock. Uh -oh. You're a knock. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's written in another language. Maybe you have to be of that language to knock three times and to get it to do whatever. So well, you never said friend. <laughs> friend. <laughs> um. So, what should we do? What you want to do? Do you want you me to try? A bang is heard on the other side of this metal door. Yeah, and it kind of juts out a little bit. Is uh, it juggernaut? Almost. <laughs> uh, Zidar, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, twenty-three. You feel warmth emanating from the door. Hmm, that's not good. Yeah, it's not good. Um, well, at, least, at least it's not banging like the other door was. Yeah, but you said something hit it, and that was the other door. Oh, you heard a bang inside the room. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm getting confused. You said it knocked the door off kind of akimbo, I guess. On the first door, it was rattling. Right. Yeah. On this door, you heard a bang and... Ugh. Like okay. something falling against the door? Possibly. And you said it was warm to the touch, right? Mm-hmm. Fireball! No, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Let's see I mean, how irresponsible I can be. Okay. Mm. Throw all caution to the wind. I did that before, and now they got an open floor plan. <laughs> That's true. Uh, let's do Thunder Wave. At the door? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm behind the, exactly. the wave. <laughs> Sure. Thunder wave it. Uh, what do I have to do? Oh my god, this writing is so tiny. Oh god, I know what spell I should have taken. 
God damn it. I didn't. Well, it wasn't. It hasn't been a day yet, so I can't prepare it. So, I was going to say silence, but. Oh. <laughs> a wave of thunderous force sweeps out from you. Every creature in a 15 foot cube originating from you must make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 2d8 thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet away from you. In addition, unsecured objects that are completely within the area of effect are automatically pushed 10 feet away from you. Uh, and the spell emits a thunderous boom audible to 300 feet. Is that what you're doing? Yes. Everybody is deaf as the thunderous boom ricochets. I could have used the horn. No, <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> uh, the door rattles, uh, but does not become dislodged. Everybody sees uh, Weebles. <laughs> it's kind of like at the end of Saving Private Ryan when he shell shocked. Yeah. <laughs> and Camille goes. All right. So at that point, I guess it's just look. Okay, let's. Something important is in there, but you know, do we? Re I can't, I, they can't hear me, so no. Uh, if, if I had a day to prepare, <laughs> that means get the fuck out. <laughs> that means cover me, I'm fucked. Okay, all right, I'm just following Camille at this point, so. She turns around. I'm heading out. Okay. Yeah. Going. We had a... <laughs> the dog is doing that? Yeah. Like, trying to get our attention to go somewhere? Try Looks like it's barking at you. At me or at the All door? All three of you. Okay. All right. So I approach it. Approach Re Weeble. You're deaf as shit. You guys were in a 10 foot yeah, hallway ricocheting off a thick four inch metal door. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, oh. uh, so. Meanwhile, outside, the cloud giants are like. Right, sipping their margaritas, assholes. Yeah. Yeah. They're, They're white paying cloth. you five grand to do a nice job on this house. We're trying. <laughs> You guys are fucking everything up. As you walk away from this door, uh, you notice that the light is doing this. You can see the swords and the armor beating against the grate. You can't hear shit. It's a home security system. We just need to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, intelligence what? checks. He's keeping us here for a reason. <laughs> 17. Oh, okay. I, I didn't do well on that one. A nine. I can't roll well. Four. Wow, Daphne. You roll so well. Right, I must be... Next time. I must be slightly concussed because I only rolled a nine. Camille, uh... You think you've checked everything down here. There were a lot of cubby holes, but you're pretty sure you checked everything down here. Okay. I agree. Yes. So. Okay. I take that as <laughs> follow me. Let's get the fuck out. So I, I look at. <laughs> uh, party. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Um, so Weebles is still trying to get our attention or, or is he just yapping at us? He looks like he's just yapping at you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we pick him up. Uh, as I, I assume you're going out in the main hallway again. Mm -hmm. Uh, the ball of light exits, does exactly the same thing, goes all the way to the end of the hall and to the right. 
I'm I'm just I following Camille it. at this. Okay, <laughs> Camille just wants to notate it and just move on. You so. guys pass the treasury room and you get to the stairway alcove room, where okay. the mosaic is partially covered again. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. just go back Both upstairs. Uh, you go back upstairs, and there are still several areas that you have not explored. Uh, you are still deaf. Uh, but you are right here. There's a room okay. here. These are doors. Doors, doors, door. Okay. Uh, right okay. or left? So let's do this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so yeah, uh, Right. I, I'm I'm pointing. I'm like Okay. So <laughs> right right it is. So which door? This one? Sure. Yes. Uh it appears to be a bedroom. Uh there are no sheets on the bed. Uh you can tell from the outline the pictures once hung on the wall, but those pictures have been removed. Uh mm -hmm. there's a nightstand, an armoire, things of that nature. Clearly, this is a bedroom. Clearly, all the furniture is giant size. Well, not quite giant size, large size. Uh, it extends uh, about halfway up the 25-foot ceiling here. The opulent nature of this room is clear. Heavy draperies uh, uh, bordered by gold tassels are uh -huh. still present on the windows. Okay. Nice. Yeah, very nice bedroom, uh, but you are right about here. Okay. Um, did you want to explore this room a little closer, or? I mean, it seems. Yeah. Oh, Daphne, what do you want to do? Yeah, explore it. Okay. Yeah, we're. <clears throat> As you guys gestating. start to wander around, this area appears to be an enormous walk-in closet. Nice. Okay. Uh, no clothes. No clothes. Anything. Giant, mm -hmm. giant balls. No. What kind of balls? Moth balls. Oh. Okay. Moth balls. Okay. And that appears to be it. All right. So we exit stage left. You are now back here. And I, okay, well, let's investigate the other room. I'm assuming it's more of the same. It is only, it is much finer quality. Uh, a nice. huge, huge bed is here. A pair of armoires are set into the walls. Uh, gold trim adorns the uh, woodwork at the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. This room is opulence dictated. Uh, clearly, it was a bedroom. Clearly, it was the master suite. Mm. Okay. All right. We'll check the closet. Closet uh, is, again, barren. Uh, this no. door leads into uh, what can loosely be conferred as a bathroom. There is a very large copper tub mm. here. Nice. Ooh, nice, nice, and nice. a silver decanter sitting next to it. How big's the decanter? It's actually a humanoid size, about two feet in nature. Hmm. Is there anything in it? I don't know. Do you want to look? Yeah, we'll take a look. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, is it ornate? Is there any kind of anything yeah, about it? Yeah, it looks expensive. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're not here to pillage. So exactly. Put it down. Okay. All right. So I guess we move on out. Okay. This would be the only room that you have not investigated. Okay. We'll go ahead and investigate that. It is a guest bedroom. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Anything to note in it other than, is it empty or is there a bed or? There's a bed, there is no sheets. The chamber pot is present. 
<laughs> Hopefully it is, empty. <laughs> it is empty oh, and it God. is large size. Uh, other than that, there's nothing really in this room. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I say we go out and tell our benefactors what's going on. This house is cleansed. Uh, this house is clean. clean. All right. We'll go ahead and move out and talk to uh, the giants. You guys go outside. Uh, Meme and Ina uh, have drained their margaritas. They're looking at you. They're coming down. Oh, oh come on. Still. Hey, anybody has restoration? Paladin? <laughs> and then you see them. Uh, ah. and Weebles breaks loose and heads right for him. Oh, um, he's going to leave us. As he reaches them, he turns into the Shadow Mastiff. And oh, no. Leaps into uh, Meme's arms. Oh. oh, okay. His sharp, puppy teeth bite. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, clearly, uh, Weebles is his... a pet. Okay. I want him to come with us. Well, at least he didn't die. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope Weebles tells him that we saved him. Uh, ooh, uh, 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 uh. Your hearing is starting to come back, but it's very muffled. Okay, can I make anything out? Uh, Meme looks happy. Uh, Ina's very happy. They're scratching the head of this shadow mastiff. Uh, he's rolling over, showing his white belly, wagging his tail. Clearly, they know who this is. Uh-huh. Uh, so you, you can start to assume. Uh, Meme looks like he is attempting to conduct business. Uh, everybody roll a d20. High roll starts to hear first. 12. 18. Uh, Daphne, your hearing starts to return sooner. Uh, as he, as Meme is talking to you guys, you can tell that he's starting to get a little bit miffed because you aren't answering any questions because you can't hear it. And he he looks at each one of you, and that uh, it here uh, answer, uh, okay. Um. So, uh, Daphne should be able to hear, and she's only to... catching bits and pieces of it. Yeah. Oh, so somebody okay. kick her and tell her, hey. Yeah. What do you want to do, Daphne? Tell them we can't really hear. I can't hear you. <laughs> As you scream, they kind of look puzzled. Zadar bursts into a soliloquy of and gives a dissertation on the manor. <laughs> so it's very nice inside. I really like the furnishings. The giants are like, "Why are you yelling at me?" <laughs> uh, Da- Daphne, you you are starting to come in. You're starting to hear more things. Meme and Ina seem less than thrilled that you guys are shouting at them. Uh, Camille, you are starting to get your hearing back uh, as well. These two 18-foot giants uh, appear to be ready to chastise you vehemently uh, for yelling at them. Really? Oh. We're not... They're 18 feet. I'm probably two feet and my yelling is getting to them i do d- right there no, no don't do that right there <laughs> that's, that's, that is a great idea that is not a good idea i i'm just like uh <laughs> they're gonna stomp the shit out of you uh can i do uh insight check and like see this is getting tense and just say we triggered something in the house we can't hear right now daphne you aren't really sure why zadar is yelling at this point (laughs) yeah oh thanks uh but your hearing seems to be probably 80 percent back to normal uh and you can tell from the tone uh meme would like some answers uh and not get yelled at or flipped off by the flea. I'm like an ant compared to them. 
So, Daphne, are you going to speak for us or what? Yeah. I'll be she's like, a, she's um, a bitch and says so she banged your mom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, that, I guess. That, go you over, tell them, Daphne? Yeah, go over what happened. But the house should be okay now. Use your charisma. You're a paladin. Come You're on. You're going to have to roll persuasion. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm so nervous to roll on that. What is my... You're due for a real roll, so... Yeah. Look Am at I? it that way. I'm yeah. Okay. You I roll me. persuasion. Fifteen. Uh, he starts to ask you questions. Da 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 da, da. I, I'm going to need a walkthrough on this. I want to see for myself. Uh, you guys go ahead and lead us in and show us uh, the areas uh that you found uh and let us know wait can they like carry us around sure would you like to ask yes sure uh d d12 against me yeah all three of you i just think it's gonna be a lot to to walk around with them Ten. 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 Eight. Ten. I rolled a one. Uh, so yes, they will reluctantly carry Daphne oh, around. Uh, Eno will carry uh, Camille and Zar around. You guys go in. Uh, they wish to know what's this debris here in the main room? I don't tell them I use the horde, but I just say I may have triggered something in the house and it caused that. Uh, everybody's hearing has returned. Remember, these are the brass golems. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, we did trigger those. <laughs> you only triggered two of eight. Yeah, and well, that was the result. <laughs> uh, well, the other six were already destroyed. Uh, who wants to persuade them that this was the way it was? This is the way. This has always been the way. My charisma's not good, so... Uh, Zadar will try with a 25. Sure. Okay. Uh, where next? What are the other rooms in this place? Um, yeah, well, let's not tell them about the conservatory. How about the gallery of paintings? <laughs> uh, okay, they will look out there. We the warn paintings. them. We warn them about them. <laughs> the paintings are both silent and immobile. Mm. Okay. Well, huh. bye. <laughs> so I guess we'll continue on down the hall. Where at? Uh, towards the staircase, I guess. Okay. Uh, and I, I begin to tell him that's where the most interesting things were. <laughs> okay. Uh, you'll go through that door. You'll find the staircase and... Uh, me and Ina will look around and I don't see anything interesting here. Uh, downstairs, actually, uh, in the oh, basement. Oh, okay. Uh, are we going down? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. They will get to the bottom and they will be hunched over. Oh, I forgot. Uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot it's that giant size down here. Uh, there's <laughs> several... several magical instant uh items and kind of uh i don't know uh D12 things down here d12 against me at all 12 uh 12 as well uh why is it hot and cold down here uh that could be there was something behind a steel door and when i touched it it felt warm and I think the other door, did the other door feel cold? You didn't touch the other door. I didn't touch the other door. So actually you had to touch the door to read it. Uh, it did not feel any difference in temperature. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, meme gets down on his hands and knees, looks around. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. No, I don't want to do this. Okay. Let's go back upstairs. Sure, 
Sure. Where, where is the staff? Their staff? Uh, we, ha we haven't found any. Were, were they present? Uh, we were told that there would be staff here. Um, you know, they might be trying to get out of that door. <laughs> um okay is the nearest door there within sight of us or would meme have to crawl down the hallway or the knock three times mm -hmm. uh no it's at the far end and meme is not going to crawl down there okay yeah. i tell meme if he wants us to investigate further and try to find the staff we can do that i would like to know if there is staff here this place oh. isn't going to run itself Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, if you care to go back upstairs, we'll we'll investigate this further down here. Okay. Uh, me and Ina go back up the stairs and await your progress report. Okay. Okay. Um, I think there's more margarita fixings in there somewhere. So indulge. <laughs> so um, okay. So I talked to Camille and Daphne. All right, staff is missing. We're gonna we're gonna have to try to find them. I think they might be behind those doors trying to get out. Perhaps. So we oh. got figure out how to open the door. Mm hmm. Maybe they got to yeah. knock three times on the inside of the door. Uh, well, let me try <laughs> with an actual hand. So I guess we'll go to the first door. Okay. Sure. Okay, and I'll try it. Bare hand. Knock, knock, knock. Nothing. Nothing. Is anybody knocking or anything on the other side of the door? Nothing. Okay. Is there a latch on the door or anything like that? Yeah. Very All simple. Right. Like the back of a semi. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check for traps. Sure. Go ahead and okay. roll. All right. Uh, seventeen. Yeah, it doesn't look doesn't look trapped. Okay, I'll go ahead and try the latch. Latch opens easily. Okay. And I guess we slide the door. You said it was like a barn door. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it comes out on a tilted rail, so it was fitted. Uh, inside is uh, a square room, uh, about 30 by 30. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, 26 for Zadar. 20. 13. His, his proficiency is in it. So. All three of you notice that uh, there's a fine silt on the floor uh, and the gray slate walls around the sides uh, seem to be pitted uh, huh. some kind of damage. In the center of the room, uh, above or below a hanging luminary globe uh, is what appears to be an ivory pipe set in the floor. Okay. okay. An I ivory. Like, like uh, uh, what do you what do, what do you call those things? Uh, that you, a recorder. A musical oh, recorder. Oh, like a clarinet? Um, yeah, kind yeah. of. In the yeah, yeah recorders are their own thing, too. Um, well, we know what happened the last time I played something. <laughs> is it human size or is it giant size? or? It, it, looks, like a, it looks like a iron or an ivory PVC pipe set in the floor. The dust on the floor is starting to swirl. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. That's not good. Maybe we just stand back. Okay. We'll stand back and observe. <laughs> As you stand back and observe, uh, circulation begins to move around the pipe and becomes very intense as a small cyclone comes huh? out of the pipe. Everybody, initiative. Oh, Twelve. Uh, ten. Sixteen. Uh, Daphne, it looks like it's an air elemental. It looks like white. An air elemental. 
speak hey. hey, do you speak primordial? <laughs> no. Sadly. I don't know. I feel like all my languages are useless. Uh... So what you want to do? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Are any one of you like not doing so hot health wise? Uh, I, I, oh, I think I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Oh. I wish I had a way to like trap it. Is there like a jaw? Oh, the air elemental's out of the pipe now. Maybe it's friendly. That's why I was saying, okay, if somebody spoke primordial, so. <laughs> So what you want to do, Daf? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nothing's useful. <laughs> when, um, what? What's the Air Elementals initiative? Uh, Second. You don't know yet. Oh, okay. Daphne, you do something or hold action. Your choice. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll cast divine favor on myself. Okay. Well, it says on me. That's where I'm at. That it? That's it. Next up is the 12. Camille. Um, Camille, Shamafel. <laughs> awesome. Sorry, doing Laverne and Shirley thing. <laughs> well, I can't really talk to it, but I say. Hi, how can we help you? <laughs> Fair enough. Zadar. Thank you for calling tech support. Thank how may you, I help yeah. you? <laughs> Let it know that its auto warranty is about to expire and it needs exactly. to have extra coverage. Zadar, you had a 10. You are up next. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, air elementals are intelligent, I guess. Um, I, uh, I I don't want to provoke it for further, sure. so uh, I say sorry to have disturbed you. <laughs> and we start doing the slowly I turn step by step, <laughs> inch by inch, sure. and back and on, uh, you know, kind of doing the Peter Griffin thing uh, in the uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, thing, you know, the mini Lamucha kind of mm -hmm. <laughs> shuffle on out of there. It is now the air elementals turn, but we're running out of time, yeah. so we'll have to figure out what happens next time. Damn it. Uh, Daphne slash Caitlin, what'd you think? It's good. I'm glad we're almost done with the house. Or are we? Yeah. <laughs> right? Clearly, if we try to skip things, we weren't allowed to, so... Oh, you you were allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did not force you to open any of these doors. Just tell them, nope, you have no staff. That's it. I never existed. The funny thing is, you guys haven't figured out that you're fucking around with the HVAC system. Uh, Zidane, oh. <laughs> what, what'd you think? Now that you told me that, uh, yeah, let's close the HVAC system. I, I'm enjoying this. This is this is great, but it's yeah, it's like okay, it's like it's like a thread. You pull at it, something else unravels. So. Yeah, that's how I designed it. 
Carrie, what'd you think? I'm irritated with you. You're welcome. You always <laughs> throw an animal in there for me. It was a friendly puppy that saved your asses. Yeah, yeah, did. and he needs Literally. to come with us, but he's their pet, so he won't he's come their with pet. us. Yeah, you can't have him. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Cacophony Edition. Thanks for watching. If this was your first time, please come back. If you came back, thanks. We'll see you again in two weeks on here. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy our cool crap, bath mat, duvet, all that shit, uh, go ahead and check out our store. Thank you to Pirate Dog Dice for dice that I did not have to use on the party, uh, especially Daphne, who was choking uh, via her cred credentials. Uh, and of course, uh, this game doesn't stink, but if yours does, try a little bit of Adventure Sense. Make it smell a whole lot better. Uh, Adventure Sense is put out by oddfishgames.com, who also make the Shine system. Also coming at you soon for a Kickstarter, how to RPG with your cat. We will have that information when it is available. I have personally played it, and I found it quite entertaining. Hmm. Uh, this Saturday, we have a one-shot. So if you want to be in that one-shot, or if you want to be on our talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on the show. We always like new blood to sacrifice to the dice gods. On Saturday, we have a Tomb Trek one shot. Sunday, we have the Margu Tri Generational Campaigners. Always a hoot. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for enjoying our time with us. We will see you later. Dating game, kiss everybody. You can't even see us right now. <laughs> there you go. Aren't we still just the map? We were. Uh, we were, but we're off. How's that? That's better. <laughs> I was like, 